Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to quickly show you this um, before I did the video on my my layout. Um, some of you may feel you need these things um, to protect your um, controller, which is what these are. These are circuit protectors. Um, if you have a short circuit on your layout. Um, it would trip your controller. Uh, most controllers will trip if you have a short circuit. However, if that short circuit continues, um, for example, if you're out of the room, um, it would continually trip to the point where it would damage itself. Uh, this wouldn't. Uh, these things uh, trip and then reset and trip and reset and so on. Um, now there seems to be two variations of uh, these EB1 uh, circuit protectors. Um, mine has dip switches, and what, what the dip switches are for are to set um, the amps from 1.5 to 8, depending on your booster or, and controller's power supply, and whichever you're using. Um, the others have rows of pins with a jumper that you put on or off to either close or open the circuit um, to, to set the, the amp. Very easy to, to set up. Um, it's just the DCC input from your controller to the output to your track. And so if a short shaker comes in, uh, it does its necessary and uh, protect your controller. Your controller doesn't trip out. Um, these here, these two points are to connect an external LED. Because um, when you power this thing up, this little LED comes on, not LED, SMD, comes on and flash it, it stays on red. If your um, system shorts, it'll start flashing. Now this is on your board, obviously you can't see that flashing. Um, so you can stick an LED in here and connect it to your, um, I don't know, pictorial representation of your layout. Um, that sounds good, doesn't it? Pictorial. Pictorial representation of your layout where you have all your um, turnouts, um, switches, lights and so on. So you could put an LED there. So the LED would start flashing if you've got a short here and this is protecting the short. This side is you want to connect an external switch to these two points so you can manually turn on and off um, this thing, this protector, um, because this has um, is controlled by, by DCC. Um, the standard factory settings are normally good for most um, layouts but you can fine-tune it uh, by altering CVs that are contained within this. Um, I just set it up as normal and it works fine for me when I created the short. Um, this little button here is what you press to go into setup mode so you can change the address of this, the CV address and a few other um, parameters within this but more often than not you don't, you don't need um, to do that. Um, it provides a short circuit protection for one power district. So you've, if you've got multiple power um, districts, um, you would need one for each. Uh, as mentioned, uh, there are two variations. One um, goes from 2.5 amp to 8 amp. This goes from 1.5 amp to 8 amp. Um, which does mean you can't use it with a select, um, a Hornby Select or Hornby E-Link or any uh, power supply really um, less than 3 amps. Um, 2 amps I would imagine if there is one out there uh, controlled with a power supply of 2 amps. Um, so you couldn't use it. I am aware though with the Select you can use the same power supply that comes with the Elite. And the Elite has a 4 amp power supply. 
So you can use uh, this with um, a select if you use the Elite for a power supply. Um, so it work. This will work with the um, Elite. Um, I've just mentioned it has a four amp power supply, so, so this will work with that. Um, if you if you wanted one of these to protect your controller, which is always a good thing to think about, because these controllers are not cheap. My um, if I had to replace my um, Ecos, um, it cost me about six hundred pounds. Um, this cost is twenty eight pounds. Now. <laughs> I'd rather pay £28 and know my controller is protected. And as mentioned, there's normal uh, LEDs and SMDs they can use um, to, 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 um, to, 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 to um, indicate when a short's happening. Um, and as mentioned, you can have an external LED all the way to your control panel. Um, that will let you know when a short circuit has happened. Um, so I think that's it regarding this. Um, oh, by the way, it will only work, by the way, with DCC. It will not work with a DC setup. Um, so yeah, if you've got DC, this won't work. Um, I would imagine. I mean, I don't know whether DC DC power supplies are, uh, are less than three amps. But yeah, if you've got uh, a very expensive um, DCC controller and the power supply is, I don't know, two amps and above, better three amps and above, I would seriously consider buying one of these. There are different uh, models. Uh, I think this is made by NCE, I think, but it's an EB1. But you, yeah, you can get variations from other manufacturers, but I found when looking into it, this was the easiest to use and most reliable. Um, I had a look on YouTube and the internet, and this does seem to come out quite well. So that's it. Um, in a not too distant future, there'll be another video on my layout. Um, so th thanks very much. Thanks for watching your time. Bye.